Hi everyone, uh, Travel Addict Guy here, and we are here in Granada. We're close to the cathedral, and we're gonna get something to eat, I think. Is that the plan, Catman? Yeah, I could uh, maybe fill the tummy a bit. Sounds good, Doesn't all right. Work. And check this out, guys. Check out the beautiful light post here. Wow, that is so cool, guys. Look at that. Those are dragons, aren't they, Catman? Or big dogs. And look at the look at this guys. Sevilla 1892. Wow, check that out. Wow. Look at that guys. Wow, I love Granada guys. It's so old. It has that old feel. The history. Just love it. And look at this fountain here. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like Poseidon on top with the trident. Unbelievable guys, look at that. How cool is that? And you've got these guys holding it up basically. Statues there and looks like Poseidon on top. Wow, the history, the metaphors, everything runs deep here guys. Mythology. That is cool, look at that. Wow, on top of there. We're in this plaza here. What is the name of this plaza, Miko? Do you know? Barambola. Okay. Very cool. We kind of felt like pizza today. We haven't had pizza in a while, so we're gonna stop to this place here, guys. It is a Italian restaurant, and it is restaurant, Ristorante Pizzeria Gallo. And the prices are semi, guys. They're not cheap, they're not too expensive, they're kind of in the middle. So we're gonna see, guys, is it a good place? Is it a tourist trap? So we're gonna find out, guys. We're gonna find out. We're gonna order two pizzas, and we're gonna see how it is. So what do you think, Cat Man? Yeah, it's uh not too many options on Sunday, so you have to roll the dice sometimes. Right, and they have a lot of options, guys. I'll have to say that. Pizza options and a lot of interesting pizza. So we're going to get this five setas, five different kind of mushrooms. I like that. Mozzarella, oregano, shiitake, new mac, Paris mushrooms, oyster mushrooms. That is really nice. That sounds nice. And we're going to get this um, quattro queso, which is four cheeses, guys. Oregano, mozzarella, roquefort. Gruyere cheese and Parmesan. Wow, that is a lot of cheeses. Very interesting. Wow. So they do sound like good pizzas, guys. I'll have to say they sound very interesting. So can't wait to try these pizzas here. Okay, guys, we got our sangria and the waiter's quite nice. The guy was really nice. He doesn't want to be on the camera, but a nice guy. Yeah, some humor. So yeah, kind of a funny guy. Enjoy that and give that uh, sangria a uh, try, Miko. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it some nice taste. Okay. Don't drink sangria that often, guys, but um, the prices here, the beer was kind of high. Actually, the Kanye was 230 so always check out the menu, guys, if you can, because a lot of places, the Kanye is a euro something. So the sangria was three euros, and this is a pretty big glass. So for me, I'm going to go with the sangria. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not as good as Spanish Mamma Mia. But not bad, guys. <laughs> I just love this plaza where we're eating at. We've got that fountain right there. And just a really chill place. So happy to be back in Granada, guys. It is Sunday and happy to be back here. I've not been in Granada for a long time. Been wanting to come back. I was wondering what this uh, second uh, straw thing was. It's actually a stir, guys. I like that. Get your own little plastic stir. Wow, most places don't give you that. So. Thumbs up for that. Good job, guys, with the stir. <laughs> so I forgot to do one thing, guys. I forgot to do a cheers. So here we go, guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Keep peace. The new adventures in Granada. Looking forward to it, guys. This door, guys, with the number 15 on it. Someone just went in there. Amiko was saying it looks almost like a closet door. Mm -hmm. But that was actually a door going into the apartment, wasn't it? Probably, or in the restaurant. Ah, okay, maybe into the restaurant. Okay. Ah, this is being with jamón, the setas. Yes, the setas and with jamón. Okay. So there's some. Um, this is the setas, guys. The mushroom one, and this is the cheese one. Okay. Okay, let's give it a try, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Could be a. Good Looks like place. a thinner crust style. Mm -hmm. Thin crust style here. Yeah. It's a little bit on the small side to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Yeah, it's a nice taste. It's got a lot of uh, mushrooms on there, I'll mm -hmm. say that. It does look a little on the small side, guys. Okay, guys, a lot of mushrooms. Looks a little on the thin side. It's a thin crust one. It looks like it's cooked well underneath, I'll say that. So let me give it a try. Oh, I taste that mushroom, a lot of that. I don't taste a lot of sauce. It tastes more like mushroom. <laughs> For a thin style, it's pretty good. I'm not saying it's the best I've ever had, but it is decent. And how was the cheese one? For me, I'd like a little bit more sauce, guys. It seems like a really low, low amount of sauce on this one. That's the only thing I can say about it. But the crust is nice, and the ingredients are nice. Just for, for me, I'd like a little more sauce. Four cheese, guys. Gonna try that. We didn't really know this was a uh, thin crust ahead of time. Okay, guys, there it is. You even got some Parmesan on there. There was a lot of different cheeses on there. Gonna go ahead and try that. I'm looking forward to this one, guys. I love cheese. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> this one's quite cheesy. I like this one. I like the Parmesan on top. I think I like this one better with the cheese, guys. I think I like it better. Still not a lot of sauce on the pizza. It's like they put a really tiny amount of sauce. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be. But for me, I like a little more sauce on my pizza. Here's the moment of truth. We're gonna select which one we like better. I like the cheese one better. I find they taste a little bit better. Like I said, I'd like some more sauce on the other one. Actually, both of them. But the cheese one is quite nice. I like the crust. I just think it needs more sauce. I'm still gonna give it like a seven and a half. And I'm gonna give this other one a seven. So not bad. What do you think, Catman? Yeah, I'm thinking the same. Pretty Similar. Much, yeah. Okay. It's interesting. We seem to enjoy our pizza the same, guys. <laughs> but the sangria was a good deal for three euros. I'll throw that in there. So that also is good. The thing that gets me about this pizza, guys, is they put so little sauce on the pizza that I can't really tell the taste of the sauce. I like to taste my sauce in the pizza. So that is a big detractor of the pizza. Am I satisfied? Yes, I'm satisfied. I liked it. Do I love it? No, I don't love it, but I do like it. So here's the place, guys. Gallo. So it looks like they're talking about the chicken again. The gallo. This is a gallo. In Spanish, a gallo is the rooster. And here's the place inside, guys. Oh, I like the uh, stained glass there. That is nice. Oh, that is cool. Is that the Alhambra? Wow, I like that, guys. Rooster with the, or the gallo with the Alhambra. Very cool. Okay, here was the price on that, guys. $29.30 for both of those. So that is one of the more expensive places we've been to, actually. Okay, guys, that's the place. So it was uh, 29 something. So one of the more expensive uh, places we've been to. There it is, gallo. He said that it's a take on gallo, so it's basically a gallo. It's basically the rooster. So I guess you're paying more for the plaza. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the worst place, but um, let's call it average, guys. What do you think, yeah, man? Yeah, maybe below average, I would say. Really? All, okay. All the experiences, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for the price, maybe not worth it, guys, this time. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Travel addict, a guy, and Miko, the cat man. Oh, yeah. Take care of you, one.